Can you hear me? Now I got you on the screen now. So Oh, you if, do? Yeah. Sweet. If we're all good, all yours. Had fun. Ready to go. Sweet. Hey, everyone. This is Matt here from the Omnific. Here to play you a few songs with my Dingwall NG3. I'm really looking forward to it. Hmm. Let's get started with one called Proem.
So I had a few requests in this live stream to go through what gear I'm using for this stream. Uh, so obviously the Dingwall NG3 bass sounds amazing as you can as you can hear. And then I'm running through a Dark Glass B7K and an Alpha Omega together just to give me that clean yet with a little bit of crunch tone. Really helps for our kind of two bass music. So it's quite unique, but works really well for us. Into a Dark Glass compressor the hyperluminal amazing piece of gear as well all the dark glass stuff works well for us then i've got a reverb and a boost just small things for soloing which does its job 
and then into another dark glass pedal, the Afro Omega Ultra, which gives me the distortion tones I use. And it uses a cab sim, so I don't need to use a cab on the road or live. So it's useful, useful piece of gear. Yeah, so that's that's my whole my whole setup for this stream and for any gig that we play. So I'm going to premiere a new Omnific song here. Like no one's no one's heard it before. Um, no one's performed it, haven't released it or anything. So I thought it would be best to play it in this stream. So yeah, let's play it.
So I've got one track left to play, but at the end of this stream, I'm going to be doing a quick Q&A, so drop your questions below and I'll, I'll check them after this song and go through some answers with you. This last one is called Kismet. Thank mm -hmm. you. 
So uh, thank you everyone for, for watching this performance. I'm going to get to some questions now and give you some answers. All right, so how do you achieve that tone, the wet trebly tone, thin strings, tone settings? Um, so the strings, well, this the bass is tuned into standard. So we've just been using the standard Dingwall strings that we we were sent to string it up. So the strings are pretty pretty stock standard for it, I guess. Like just the playing style that we have with like the attacky the attacky sound with the um with the trebly settings on our pedals is what what gives us our tone and like a lot of practice to make it to make it sound how it does. I'll post a photo of the pedal board on my Instagram so you can go check that that one out. Inspiration outside of music is I guess a hard one like a lot of my time is, apart from music, is based on just like watching and watching sports. So that's kind of kind of what I do when I'm not really doing my music. So I guess I guess that's there. Other than that, there's not not really much else I can really put really think that would inspire me. Um, I guess a lot of TV shows as well, movies. How do you practice? Okay, so that's quite a, um, I guess, a difficult one to answer because uh, throughout the years of playing, there's been different different types of practice I've done. But a lot of metronome work is definitely the best to get to get tired of playing and slowing things down, like lots of slowing down just to get all the articulations right in all playing. Like I do that with all new songs that I'm learning for this band, and still even with with old songs, just getting them slower, just to get to get better at them, just to yeah, just practice some more. Basically all dark glass.
That's sick. Someone from Mexico is watching. That's amazing. I'm glad that our music's reaching, reaching around the world. Can't really see many more questions popping up. So if you have any more, comment them now or that this will be the end. Yeah, that seems to be all of them. So, yeah, thank you, everyone, for watching this performance. Thank you to Dark Glass for giving me the opportunity and shout out to Toby and Jerome, my bandmates, for being the best bandmates to work with for this music. Thank you, everyone.